HTMX, a tiny library that's revolutionizing how we build modern web applications without heavily relying on client-side frameworks like React, Vue, or Angular. Without writing a lot of JavaScript, HTMX allows you to add dynamic behavior to your HTML. By extending HTML with custom attributes, you can do things like AJAX requests, DOM updates, and even WebSocket interactions, all directly from your HTML. Here's a simple example to show you how HTMX works. When the button is clicked, the HX get attribute tells HTMX to make a get request to the load content endpoint, while the HX target attribute specifies where the response should be inserted, in this case, the content div. To install it, add this script tag to the head of your HTML file. Now you need a server that returns HTML as a response to handle requests. You can use your favorite backend language. I will use a basic Node.js server with Express. On the HTMX side, I will create a simple to-do app. This app includes a basic form element for adding new to-dos and a list element for displaying them. Here, the HX post attribute posts the new task to the server. The HX target attribute specifies the target element to which the new to-do will be appended, and the HX swap attribute ensures the new task is added to the end of the list. On the other hand, in the list element, the HX get attribute fetches the to-do list from the server, and this fetch action is triggered when the page loads. Now let's add a visual indicators to display loading feedback when fetching the to-do list. When you use the HX indicator attribute, HTMX adds the HTMX request class to the element during the request lifecycle, which can be styled in CSS to show loading indicators. In addition, HTMX allows you to attach a custom JavaScript event listener to handle HTMX events. Here's how you can do it using add event listener in the script. You can also use the HX on attribute to define custom inline event listeners. HTMX is more than that. It has so many more features like forms, animations, and even WebSocket support. Check htmx.org for more. So what do you think about HTMX? Would you give it a try? Comment below.